You can still save to STL in Fusion 360. In fact, you can save to 3MF and OBJ as well as two different kinds of STL, but even I was duped by the fact that the export button no longer works. So let me show you how to use this trick. Did you know that as of November 2nd, today, 2021, you can still export files from Fusion 360 to STL, and you can do it in both ASII and binary. So let me show you how to do this real quick. I need to open a file to actually export, and I'll show you how this works. We're not going to be using the export button. We're going to be using a different method. So let's go in here. We'll grab this and open it up, and we're just going to grab something random. I do have some items I was using for Halloween here, and they should be pretty easy to deal with. So this is just a quick little pumpkin design. It's a Halloween decoration. Uh, don't worry about what it is at all, because this will work with any body or object that you turn into a body or part. So what I'm going to do is go in here and it should continue to load. It should be loading. My, there it is. Um, and I have two objects here. I have the pumpkin itself and I have the stake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the body here, this one object, and that is the pumpkin. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click save as mesh. Okay. Um, this is available to everybody. It's an easy option. It'll allow you to save it as a 3MF as well or an OBJ. In our case, we're going to be going with a binary STL. We're going to keep the units in millimeters. You can change that here as well. And we don't need to preview the mesh. Basically, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Then it's going to give us an option for where to save this file. And just to show you that I am doing this as we speak. I have only one file in here. We're going to go ahead and name this proof of saving just for shits and gigs. Excuse my language. And we'll grab this. Go ahead, open the 3D objects and drag this over. And as you can see, it is just popped up and populated in there. And it is showing as and to minimize it, there we go, as the pumpkin because of the thumbnail viewer that I'm using. So from here, you can take this file and you can pretty much run with it and do whatever you want. So that's basically it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't still get an STL file from the free version version of Fusion 360 because you can. It's super simple and you have several options. So if you hear going around that the export to STL option is gone, keep in mind that this is way simpler, way faster, and doesn't require you saving to the cloud in order to use it. It is an amazing, effective tool, and I definitely recommend that you share it with a friend. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Technivorous is going to be out, but first hit that subscribe button and click the like. Let me know that you like this video by leaving a comment down below, and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you can get notified every time we put up a new video, and I will see you in the next one. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here, and if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.